Hi, Mark. Hi. Uh, Rosa, is it you? Yes, it's me. It's Rosa. Yeah, I hope you remember me from Berlin in 2019, Alita Battle Angel. I, hi, Mark. How are you? That was my favorite yeah, I'm, trip. I'm, I'm fine, because I, I could never forget you. It, uh, we had uh, our conversation, we did many pictures, and then in the end, at the Hotel Adlon, two hours later, I was with my photographer, we talked, and then you hugged me. This was, you made my day. <laughs> so it was really <laughs> so wonderful. And so I'm glad to talk to you again. I hope you are fine also in this pandemic times. Uh, so I'm really glad to talk to you. And I watched uh, the whole uh, uh, season of uh, Undown 2 oh yesterday. Oh, my God. All Yay! eight episodes. And, Whoa. Uh, I was really, uh, not kidding, overwhelmed from the look, but also from the, yeah, how can I say, philosophical uh, uh, impact uh, uh, on me, it's, just, it's really great. So I have many questions, but we had not, we have not so much time. So um, there was a sentence um, uh, about you, about your um, Alma. Uh, uh, she sees more, she feels more. And how about you? Same, same. <laughs> what do you think, Mark? <laughs> I, think, I think so. I think yes. I think yes. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I I uh, I think this is why I was. Um, so determined to be an actor um, from a young age. I, I, I feel I felt a lot and I observed a lot. And, um, and, I, and I think that's really tr my, my true gift is to just uh, feel immensely with, every, but it's a double-edged sword sometimes. Um, you really have to learn how to manage it. And I think we, we start to see that with Alma. Mm -hmm. Oma um, is just going full steam ahead, um, seeing everything she can see, feeling everything she can feel and trying to fix everything. But yes, I do relate to Alma in that way a great deal. And you're also zodiac sign uh, cancer, like my mom. You are born uh, July, <laughs> then... July 14. And this uh, woman-hearted uh, woman I, I know from my life. <laughs> yes, cancers. They feel... Uh, a great deal, very maternal, very home body, very moody, very protective. Yeah. Are you into the Zodiac, Mark? Um, yeah, so I'm, I, I like Zodiac uh, cancer woman a lot, but I'm, I have another Zodiac sign, but I don't know if you know my, my uh, Zodiac sign. I can tell you if you like. <laughs> Should I try to guess it? Yeah, okay, try, please. Um, are you a Virgo? <laughs> No, absolutely not. I know nothing about you. I don't. <laughs> no, what, no, my father, what? my father, my oh, father. Oh, your father. Yes, oh. my Armenian father. I'm also cultural mix. My father is Armenian. My mom is German. Oh, wow. Um, yeah. No, I tell you, I'm Aquarian, you know, Aquarian. Oh, yeah. we like an Aquarian. Hmm? We like an Aquarian. <laughs> when this uh, matched good with a cancer uh, uh, woman. <laughs> <I> can... <laughs> And tell for my past. <laughs> okay, <laughs> next next question. Um, you are now in so many science fiction uh, films. You know, yeah. there was Maze Runner, uh, Insurant. Of course, uh, I loved you a lot in Alita Battle Angel, you know. Yes. And then also now it's uh, Undone. Uh, so now you are a specialist for science fiction? <laughs> You know, I, I got to uh, Hollywood. I said, I'm probably going to be, you know, some funny sidekick type, you know, comedy girl. And that's going to be cool. And then um, I was inducted into <laughs> the science fiction, uh, you know, um, Hall of Fame, so to speak. I love science fiction. I didn't guess that I would be ushered into that um realm so quickly and so lovingly but I was embraced by that genre and I I love the genre a lot um you know I'm obviously a big James Cameron fan mm -hmm. um I love all of his science fiction films um yeah I'm a I, my mother was a big science fiction fan and um and so am I so I was uh, you know I I think that um, I just fit really nicely into that world. I have a, a very similar sort of imaginative um, mind in that way. And so I just, it's just what I, I love to do. 
science mm-hmm. fiction. And I'm so glad that that world has embraced me. Yeah, I'm a science fiction fan too, for film, also for movies, and of course also for novels. <laughs> yes, I of course. Read, read a lot. Um, Ray Bradbury, for example, is my uh, favorite uh, Oh, writer. I love Ray Bradbury. I love Ray Bradbury. And uh, my favorite science fiction films is also um, Fahrenheit 451 with Oscar Werner, the Austrian actor. Uh, he's my idol, my, my role model. And uh, I love this film a lot. And also Bradbury liked it a lot. But uh, yeah, this is, this, is, uh, this is so also a very poetic uh, uh, novel, the uh, most poetic science fiction prosa uh, uh, novel I really ever have uh, read. Um, and really you're talking about the 1966 film. Yes, not, not the 2018 film. Oh, terrible! I really hate it. Sorry, <laughs> 1966 it was Oscar Werner, the Austrian actor, the right, right, handsome guy. Um, I figured. I'm a friend of his his son Felix. He uh, has the same name like my dog. I have a Siberian wolf dog Husky, also Felix. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah. I love that. Yeah, yeah, let's come to, to Berlin again. Then we can I love take, Berlin. A, take a walk with, with Felix. He's now 11 years old, but when you uh, look at him, you think he's one year because uh, he is really strong and very cute and uh, can run for hours. And I ran every day four hours with him, not kidding. Oh yeah. my God, I love that. I love that. <laughs> and in Berlin, it's a perfect place for walking yeah. your dog. It's the most beautiful city. Absolutely. I love it there. And uh, do you have, but you have not a dog, maybe not. Uh, I do have a dog. I do have a dog. Her name is Mindy. She wow. is a Boston uh, Jack Russell mix. Oh, She's cute. She's the love of yeah. my life. She <laughs> is um, uh, nine and a half years old. And yeah. actually I got her when I was shooting Insurgent in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Um, she was two and a half years old. And um, I've had her now seven years and I was there and I said, you know what? I'm kind of bored in between shooting. And I said, I'm going to go and see the dogs at the Atlanta Humane Society. Mm -hmm. And I went, I saw Mindy and I went home with Mindy and that was it. (laughs) I just saw her. I said, it's love at first sight. Was it the same with you and Felix? Absolutely. Uh, He jumped into into me uh, when he was half a year old and then it was love. uh, Uh, from the first side uh, between uh, two men. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like I love it. Yeah, really. And he has, uh, he has amber eyes. Yeah, he has a very special look and he's higher than a husky because the Siberian wolf dog is really uh, rare. It's a mixed uh, true wolf with, with dog. Yeah, so he is higher than the husky and uh, stronger, but very uh, uh, slim, of course. Yeah, and uh, yeah, he can run like a, oh, like a devil. <laughs> oh, I love it. Yeah, um, if you enter my Instagram, Spirit Hierapetia, and you can see many pictures of him because I follow you also on, on Instagram. But maybe we have to change also our email address that we don't got lost again for the next. <laughs> 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 my, my, yeah. email, my email address is very easy. It's my, my last name, Hierapetian, and then at gmx.de. Uh, then, yeah, that's Let's me. Let's see, Hieronetian, <laughs> H-I-R... A oh H oh H A I R yeah A N E T I A N at yeah what is it Gmail um I don't know yours it's Gmail uh, Hi Rapitia mine no it's a uh, G M X G M X dot D E okay cool I've got it G-M-X. yeah I don't have Instagram I don't do that anymore. Ah, okay. Because then maybe it's another profile, also not yours, but uh, some pictures of you there always. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's a lot of those out there. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you have a lot of fans, of course. The next question to um, Untold. You are also a producer or one of the producers. So what are you really doing as a producer of uh, Untold uh, season two? What is your job there? So... You know, when you are the lead of a show, um, you end up doing, uh, you end up making a lot of, you know, in you know, game time decisions, you um, are really the one person, especially in a series that knows the breadth of the story, that knows the entire arc of every scene, of every episode of the show. So you there you know if there are especially different directors um different you know writers on this we have a very solid team 
So really uh, I'm doing on that set. I mean, we're also stripped down crew, like six to eight people. Um, I'm filling in gaps where, you know, there would be gaps or trying to um, make sure that things are cohesive. This gets changed. Then we, that's a story point. Then we have to go and make sure that this over here corresponds to that, especially with so many things intertwined in time and space and storylines um you know it really is just a heady job now that i don't really have to do a lot as a producer on the show because there it is such a tight-knit group of people it is such a you know all hands on deck endeavor i think that i just you know especially in the beginning of the season um when pa the pandemic hit I was really tasked with helping, um, you know, the animators and, and the producers try to make this, you know, work so we can shoot it in COVID. Um, and also it's just really important for uh, Latin leads to, you know, to be in a more authoritative role, even if it's just, you know, the, mm -hmm. just the work that I, the extra work that I did on the show. Mm -hmm. uh, no, we have not so much time. So I have uh, one and a half question. <laughs> okay. More. Um, th will there, uh, okay. The half question is, will there be a season three? You think yes or not? I hope so. Mm -hmm. Hope so too. Uh, uh, yeah. If, if everybody goes out and watches it and, and um, all of our lovely journalists love it and talk about it then I think we have a really good chance. Mm -hmm. It's a very beloved show. And I know that Amazon is incredibly proud of it. And I'm just so excited that they are, you know, brave enough and artistic enough and cool enough to make this show. I mean, it's not an inexpensive show to make. It's a very mm -hmm. expensive show. Yeah, I wish all the best, of course, and uh, that there will be season three. And now my last question, I have a poll in my spirit, the smile in the storm magazine. I was Germany's youngest publisher. I do since my 16th <gasps> year Whoa. and uh, still existing. First print copies now uh, online. Whoa, um, congrats. Thank you so much, actors, directors, and other uh, human beings about their all-time favorite films of your life, uh, of their life. And can you name me now... Uh, three of your all-time favorite films and please give a short reason why you love the films uh, this film so much okay um i uh, love rosemary's baby mm, i me too. am a big horror fan i think what Good. mia farrow did in that film taught me an immense amount about acting um, it's incredibly beautiful uh, film and it it, it really uh, changed the way that I was saw it at such a young age and it just it expanded my consciousness um, <laughs> and and birthed a love of horror. Um, I love I Heart Huckabees um, mm -hmm. directed by David O. Russell. Yeah. Uh, it's just I am very, very into exploring existentialism. Um, I love the, you know, all of the philosophical discussions that happen. I think it's some of the best work of all the actors in that film. Um, and I, uh, love stand by me when I was a oh. little, yeah, <laughs> when I was a little girl, there weren't a lot of films that really reflected what it was like to be young, uh, uh and, um, you know, the perils of youth and the perils of, of being young and having trauma and how do you deal with trauma? And I really, um, you know, felt represented by uh, Joaquin, not Joaquin Phoenix, sorry, River Phoenix character. And I felt like, wow, I, I'm represented by this young Caucasian boy. Um, mm -hmm. And so years, many, 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 many years later, when I was doing Alita, I realized, oh my God, you know, I am playing a uh, young, uh, you know, cybernetic female, <laughs> but I know there are young boys that are resonating with this character. So it really created this full circle for me where I'm like, representation matters because representation matters. And it's not just, I mean, it's very important that it's like, you know, ethnic uh, representation, gender representation, you know, whatever that may be, but also just emotional representation. 
this story that uh, I am telling can resonate and give catharsis to a whole variety, a disparate group of young uh, boys, girls, uh, theys, like any, any person. So um, yeah, emotional representation matters as well. Wow, good choices. I met also Roman Polanski and we talked about Rosemary's baby. Uh, it was really amazing to talk to him. I've also wonderful pictures with Roman. He's, uh, for me, he's a nice guy and uh, a wonderful director, of course. Uh, even some people think now not so good about him anymore, but for me, he's one of the greatest. So Rosa, you made my day. And uh, if you he send me the, the email to Hira Petian, my last name, at gmx.de, de for Germany, Deutschland, then I promise to send you all my articles about you and a, a picture of Felix, of course. Awesome. And what was the publication, Spirit? Uh, yeah, of you... course. A spirit, a smile in the storm. When you, uh, um, it's, uh, when you look online, it's spirit minus fansign.de or .com, spirit minus fansign, not magazine, fanzine, because I come from this punk era where we oh, hell uh, yeah. everything uh, by ourselves, copied the magazine and so the papers. And then I um, write also for Frankfurter Rundschau, the daily newspaper, very, very, uh, yeah, very renowned. Also this interview and then for Austrian magazine Ray, this is one of the best two magazines, I think so. It's um, yeah, very good. Um, yeah, so we have uh, three uh, interviews in one <laughs> today. That's right. Thank yeah. you, Mark. Yeah, this Thank was you so, so much. lovely. Thank you so much. So nice. I to wish talk you all the best. Again. And oh yeah, hope to talk to you again. Maybe see you again in Berlin or in the States. You are uh, always welcome. And uh, yeah, you are a wonderful woman. Just wanted to say, Thank and a great so actress, much. of course. Thank you so much. <laughs> Yeah, all the best. Bye bye. And uh, looking forward, maybe I get your email and then I send all to you. Uh, have a wonderful day and good interviews now. <laughs> Thank you bye. so much. You too. Yeah, bye bye.